I'm a retired uh, physical education teacher and girls cross country and track coach. Uh, I've been a runner since I was 14. Uh, I've been called a gym rat. I, I love playing it, whatever it is. If there's a sport, I've got shoes for it. And I, I try and uh, stay as active as possible. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an athlete. That's one of the top things on my list when you ask me who I am. Uh, I was out on a run with my team, and in the middle of the run, I felt a, a sharp pain in my back. When it didn't improve, and it was it, when I ran, it was hard to breathe, and that and that was my my number one concern in life is being able to run pain free, and I uh, so then I contacted uh, a chiropractor that was recommended to me by uh, my nephew. First, he he examined me physically. He used some st stim ultrasound, some stuff like that. He did it. Thank goodness, uh, adjusted me only mildly because he was very concerned about the type of pain I was experiencing. And after about ten days of not getting any relief from his, he suggested I get an X-ray. And after he saw that, I went and got it. He said, "Get an MRI." And then when I got an MRI, he said, "You need to see an orthopedic." I brought the films over to Dr. McNally and. Uh, when he looked at him, at them, uh, he could see immediately what it, what the, there was a fracture in, I guess, T7. He explained to me what the procedure was about going in like a scope and decompressing the vertebrae and then backfilling with bone cement. He said that he thought I'd be a good pa candidate for it. If it worked, it would work immediately. And, uh, and he, was, he, he left it up to me whether I should go with that procedure or find something else. The one thing I can remember is that it, it would be, it was a fairly, it would take longer to set up for the procedure than to do the procedure. And that's the one thing I remember. The other thing I remember, which is me, was that he said I could go back to normal activities if it worked immediately after the surgery, which I was able to do. I'm still concerned uh, about other injuries because of, of being, being diagnosed with osteoporosis. But I, you know, uh, it's not in my conscience anymore. I, it's, I've adapted to it completely. It's adapted to my activities. And I, there is nothing I don't do. It's been a year and a half, and I don't, uh, uh, don't even think about my back anymore. You know, uh, I, I have no limitations. Without uh, running in my life, um, and I would be miserable, and so would the people around me. <laughs>